Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day today. I wasn't planning on doing a live stream today, however, it is at the end of the month and uh, I hadn't done, I've only done one this month just because we were super busy, so I thought I'm going to squeeze one more in. There's a few things I'd like to show you today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, your Outlook Safe Sender list. Now, this is probably not a topic that you've really brought up a lot, but you know how, the, how your junk folder works, where you can put people in your junk folder. I'm going to show you some different options and why. Now, I'll give you a good reason why I'm kind of bringing this one up. A lot of times, I'll get emails in from some, uh, from some people or from organizations where maybe they've got some graphics in there and it's blocked. And so each time I have to go in there and say, okay, I'm just going to download the pictures so I can see what this person was sending me. And there is a place where you can actually make, add them to the safe sender list so that when you get those emails, the graphics, if there's any graphics in there uh, and they're not embedded, that they will uh, automatically show up for you. So I thought this is a great way for you to manage your inboxes as uh, items come in that you want to make sure that uh, you are you don't have to take some extra steps to get the graphics. And this is something that you should share with your clients so that when you're sending out email blasts to them from your uh, email system, not necessarily Outlook, but maybe you're using something like Act Marketing Automation that I use or MailChimp or Constant Contact or any of the marketing uh, platforms that are out there that when they receive the email, they can add you to the safe sender list. And so this may be something that you want to train your clients or show your clients uh, how to do this. And by all means, please share this, uh, this video with them so that they can understand how to do this. So let's, let's dive in. We're going to move to my other screen. All right, so let's bring up Outlook. Now, there's several ways to get to the safe sender list. Now, I'm going to show you two ways. And I'll I, I always go to the easiest when, when I'm doing stuff like this. But in this one here, you go on the home screen, you'll click on this little one where it says junk, you'll click on the bottom, and it has some menu items, but the, the list is right in here in junk email options. And the safe sender lift list is right there. Now, you can add people to the safe sender list by going in and manually key them in, keying them in one at a time. I don't recommend that. That's like way too much work. Uh, the other way to get to that list, other than going through this drop-down menu, is just to right mouse click over an email and then go down to junk and you get the same menu as I did up at the top. So right mouse clicks a little bit faster um, and then you can go right down to your email uh, options and there's your safe sender list as well. So there's several ways to do it. Do it from here or right mouse click. So we're just going to right mouse click and you can see that this particular one um, is, uh, has some graphics in it. If I scroll down, you can see there's places where there's graphics and I'm not getting them all in. So if I right mouse click, I can go over here to junk and I can say never block sender, never block sender's domain. So if this is a legitimate uh, domain, like in this case, it's corelogics.ca and you wouldn't mind getting emails from anybody at corelogics.ca, you can just say never block the domain. So if I click on that and press OK, you'll automatically get the pictures will show up into there and the graphics, everything will, uh, will uh, display itself. So that's a, that's a quick way of doing that. Now when I go back in here to junk and go back to my list, you'll see in here safe sender list at corelogics.ca. So it's not Gary or, or Jared or Matt or whomever. Um, and I'm just going to remove that if you decide you want to remove that. And then I'm just going to go to this one and then back and you'll see that it's back the other way. Now there is another way of, of uh, doing the same thing. And that is instead of doing a right mouse click, going down to junk and then saying never block, you'll also have whenever there's graphics to be displayed here, you can see this little area, it, hyper, uh, it does a little hyper into blue. And if I just click on that, it'll say download pictures. And this is maybe sometimes what you do, right? You get the email and you go, okay, download pictures. Or you go, yeah, that's a safe, uh, safe person, download pictures, and then it displays it. But if it's something you're going to get on a regular basis, that, oh, maybe from a, a trusted uh, uh, email or domain, then what you can do is just go down here and say add 
sender to safe sender list or add the domain to the safe sender list. So in this case, I'm just going to add the domain again and press OK. And now it refreshes that. So if I go into this particular one, maybe this one here, I just want to download it, right? And so what I would do then is just go down and say, OK, download pictures, and then it would show the pictures in there. And this way, it's still not in there. Now, if I go back to my, um, my junk here and go back into my safe sender list, you'll see that Calendly is not in there. I just downloaded the pictures. So the next time I get an email from Calendly, it's, it's going to block those pictures every time until I put it in the safe sender list. So that's something to be aware of uh, uh, when you're doing that. Now, if you want to block a sender, real easy, you can go right mouse click, junk mail, and you can click on block sender. You can do the same thing up here and block sender as well. And that pushes them right into your junk box and you won't get any more emails from them. It's a flag in the system and they'll just automatically go into the junk email box uh, once you've done that. So just remember, any of these ones, so this is on my safe sender list. I, I said CoreLogix was uh, on the safe sender list from this particular one, right? I, it wasn't specific to me. So when this particular one came in, it automatically downloaded the graphics. So I didn't have to go in there and go download the pictures. I just, uh, once it's in the safe sender list, it's, it's in there. So again, really simple to add somebody to the safe sender list. Click on here, never block domain or just that particular person at that place. Right mouse click and you can do the same thing down here. Or, again, if you get the highlighted blue area, just click on that instead of downloading, add them to the safe sender list. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, you know, sometimes we, we, uh, we neglect, we do these repetitious things where we're c continuing to download pictures and uh, then you, we could quickly add them to the safe sender list. So share this with your staff. Uh, share this with your clients so that when you're sending out your stuff, they know that they can go in there and add you to their safe sender list. And then that way, when you send emails that maybe have some pictures or graphics in it, they're just going to show up and it's gonna, they're going to have a better experience when they're going through. And uh, if you have any other... Um, any other things that you would like to see that you maybe you uh, were wondering about, whether it's using Microsoft Office or, or uh, at the Axe CRM or any of the different software that we've talked in the past, let me know. We'll add it to our, our list of, uh, of topics and uh, be able to share that with you. So hopefully you have a great, uh, a great day today. And uh, um, don't forget to, to subscribe to our channel. That always helps. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.